what's the meaning of life? Son, it's those tiny pumpkins. The ones that are mad small. You know the kind, son. Wow, Dad, I hope one day I can be as wise as you. Haha, <laughs> son, let's go play some baseball. I love you, Dad. I love you too, son. If only it were that easy. Hi, I'm Madison Milhouse, and I'm doing my philosophy project for Mr. Malafrina's class. And basically, we had two options for this. Um, what is the meaning of life, or how can we give our lives meaning? And, you know, being the pessimistic, nihilist, whatever you call it that I am, I decided life has no meaning. But, no, seriously, I don't mean this in, like, a bad way. Um... I just don't think that there's any like huge divine, I guess, reason that we're here. There's no capital T truth, capital M meaning for life. The way I see it, the universe is really, really, really big. And we are really, really, really small. And I just don't think that there's like some huge reason or whatever that we're here. And that's not a bad thing. Um, I'm not saying that since life has no meaning, that you can't give your life meaning. There's little bits and pieces in every person's life that makes it a meaningful life. They just haven't been like, aha, this is why I'm here. Because why are we here? Why am I here? Why are you here? A lot of people try to give, you know, an answer to what is the meaning of life. Like, a lot of people say the meaning of life is to be happy. But I don't think that's a really fair thing to say is the meaning of life. Because I see happiness as more of a goal. It's something that people strive to do. And it's something I still try, like, try to do. And for someone who is, say, like, depressed, happiness they're not achieving it, does that mean like they're failing at life? Basically when you try to give one simple meaning to life, it just really narrows down options for everyone. And not everyone's the same, so why should everyone be trying to find this one meaning of life? We have this human desire to always want more. So when you give one word answers to what is the meaning of life, like the meaning of life is to be happy, then you're going to be happy and then what? We always want more. So like once we achieve happiness, we're going to want something else. Even if there was a meaning of life and someone found it, then what? Then what do you do? You found the meaning of life, you can just die. All around me are familiar faces. A lot of the time we're just living and going through the motions like as soon as we're born we are given a path to take we grow up we go to school then we get good grades in school so we can go to a good college and then we get good grades in college so we can go to a good grad school and get a good job and then we retire and then we die and then somewhere in there we're having a family and potentially having kids and then those kids are going through that same process and it's just one big circle of life. I feel like definitely if people are doing something they enjoy, they're not questioning themselves as much. So they're not questioning like, why am I here? They're like, ah, I'm doing something I love. This is why I'm here. And so I guess that's why people say that happiness is a, the meaning of life. Because if you're happy, you're not gonna really question why you're doing something. Nietzsche says that he who has a why to live can bear almost any how. And I think this is a great quote and it makes a lot of sense to me. If you have a why, something to do, something to work for, or a meaning in your life, you can get through most of the obstacles that your life will throw at you. I don't really mean to go quoting the fault in our stars or whatever and be really corny here, but oblivion is inevitable. Um, it doesn't really matter who you are or what you did, people are going to forget you. People now don't care about historical figures on a personal level. 
Nietzsche also has this concept of eternal return, which basically says the entire universe just continues to repeat itself over and over and over again. So not only is oblivion inevitable, but it's inevitable an infinite number of times. And both of these can be hard concepts to grasp, and I don't really necessarily agree with the idea of eternal return, but the way I see it, there is nothing we can do about it. And acceptance is our only option. So how can we find meaning? You know, back to the original topic of this video. There's no formula for life, like there is happiness. There's no capital T truth, like I said before. Um, we're just here. And we can take that and turn it into a bad thing. We can say, ah, there's no point. Why am I here? And be really sad about it. Or we can be like, ah, there's no point, but that's okay. Because there's still things in life that mean something. Not in the grand scheme of things, but yeah, right now it means something. Sartre has the idea that existence precedes essence, which basically says that we exist before we have meaning. We're essentially responsible for finding meaning in our own lives. My own goals and aspirations that make my life meaningful may not be the same for someone else. We're not born with meaning or identity or any concrete value. There is no given path of enlightenment, so to speak, that every person follows. We figure it out ourselves because every person is different. This is why I think that personal goals always give us something to strive for. We need to continually set goals for ourselves because once we achieve one goal, we tend to settle. And I think wanting to achieve something gives us something to work for. So what gives my life meaning? Well, I love having things to look forward to. I think the great thing about life is there's always something to look forward to. Um, whether it's going to college with your best friend, or just looking forward to a new episode of a TV show, there's always something at least minimally exciting to get you through. I also think that spending time doing things you love can be very meaningful. I love being with my friends and hiking and being outside and going on adventures to new places. I love theater and journalism and music, and these are the things that give my life meaning. Everyone has things they love, and I think doing what you love can be very meaningful. You got one life. As meaningless in the long run it might be, that doesn't mean you can't live a full life. So yeah, I hope I made a little bit of sense in everything that I was saying, but that's basically it and that's my project. Hey Siri, what's the meaning of life? Life, the condition that distinguishes animals and plants from inorganic matter, including the capacity for growth, reproduction, functional activity, and continual change preceding death. There you have it.